Hi guys, it's Shilla Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing two of my favorite concealers. This is actually my favorite high-end concealer, which is the Jouer one. And then my drugstore one, or drugstore priced one, is the Mora Beauty Mega Concealer. So I have them both right here. I have two shades of this one, one of these. So we're just going to see how they compare throughout the day. I'm going to be putting them on on my face. I did only apply a skin tint on my face, so I will have to go in with concealer just to get a little bit more coverage on my base but yeah that is the video that we're gonna do let's just go in and jump right into it so the first concealer that i have here is called jouet essential high coverage liquid concealer honestly guys this is probably my favorite concealer right now in the market it is so so good it definitely covers up everything and it's just really comfortable to wear throughout the day if you have dry under eyes like i do this is something that you're really gonna love i feel like i like this one more than the tart shape tape than the Too faced worn this way it's just such a good concealer and I think everybody should try this before they move on onto something else. So that is how the bottle looks like right here. It is really, really pretty. It has like this frosted little bottle and then it has this gold metallic top that says Jouer all throughout it. On the back, it just kind of says the name and it says that it's soft matte, creaseless. This one is also infused with hyaluronic acid. It comes in a variety of shades. I believe they're about, I believe they're about 25 shades. I have the shade Creme Brulee, which I really, really like. I'm going to do a comparison on my hand so you guys can see and I'll compare this one to the other one. So, so this one retails for $22, and it says that it's a full coverage concealer that instantly hides imperfections and dark circles without creasing. It is full coverage, matte finish, and that is pretty much what it says. So a lot of people really do like this one. As far as consistency, this one is very, very thick. As you can see, it is definitely very, very creamy. So if you don't like creamy concealers, then maybe this is not the one for you. But as far as shades, I really like this one. It's, it kind of has a little tint of like peach. So I think it really cancels out the darkness under my eyes. All right, moving on to the Mora Beauty ones. These are drugstore price. Like I said, you can only find these in the Mora Beauty website. I think I've seen them at Riley Rose as well, but I'm not really sure. Um, they're called the Mega Concealer. They're waterproof and full coverage. That is what the bottle says. So I'm gonna be reading off the website what it says about these two. I've been using this nonstop, guys. Like ever since I got them, ever since, since I like discovered this brand. This is what I've been using non-stop. So I think that really speaks to like the quality of them and they're really comfortable. So this one comes in eight shades. Um, it's gonna be linked down below if you wanna see it. Like I said, it's called the Mega Waterproof Concealer. It retails for $12. I have two of the shades. I have the shades um, Custard, which is 2.50, and then Latte, which is 200. It says, get ready to fight dark circles, redness, and other skin imperfections with just a dab of Mora Mega Waterproof Concealer. Our creamy, long-lasting formula will leave you looking and feeling flawlessly through, through your day. So it is cruelty-free and vegan, and it says that it's made in Korea. So it continues to like show you pictures of some people um, reviewing it and stuff like that. So I really, really like this one. Why I The reason why I decided to pick this one against the Jouer is because they're very, very similar in consistency. The more beauty is a little bit more sticky, but let's just go ahead and show them to you guys how they look like. Obviously this packaging is not as luxurious as the Jouer, but I think it's really cute. It's just this mega concealer. And on the bottom it says that it's waterproof and full coverage. On the back it does say your shades right there. And the bottle is also frosted, but this one is kind of like a plasticky material. The top is also plastic. Now, as far as applicators, I have the Jouer on my left hand. They're pretty much the same. I feel like the Mora Beauty one is a little bit shorter, but they're pretty much just mimicking the Tarte Shape Tape applicator. So you can see right there, the first one, the first one is the Jouer one. The second one right here is 200, and the one on the top is 250. So they're pretty much the same in consistency. You can see that the Mora Beauty is a little bit just thicker. And as far as shades, I don't think I have an exact one, but I think I'm gonna be using the 200 and then the Jouer one. All right, guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the Jouer one. I'm gonna be blending both of these out with my sponge, just because that is what I like to do with my concealer. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of this under my eyes, like that. And then I'm also going to cover up some of my pimples over here just because, like I said, I want a little bit more coverage. I'm also going to put a little bit on my forehead just because I don't have, I don't really have like a foundation per se. So I want to just go a little bit heavier with concealer. So let me just go ahead and blend this away. I really, really like the finish of this one. I feel like it is a stunning concealer. It definitely, definitely lasts all day and it doesn't really crease on me at all. One of my problem areas is that my under eyes are always very, very 
look dry and this is the one concealer that I have found that works for that so as you can see that definitely looks a little bit more fuller than this side it definitely gave me a lot of coverage I feel like under my eyes I still have a little bit of um, darkness peeking through if I was not doing a video this is how I would leave it because I don't really you know care for that but just because I'm doing this video I'm gonna just apply a little bit more and try to make it as full coverage as I can so let's just go ahead and blend this away I feel like both of these are gonna be a $10 difference so it's gonna be a significant difference if you are looking for something drugstore versus something more expensive so if they do do the same, it's just really good for you to like try the other one out as well. All right, guys, so we're going to move on to the Mora Beauty one. I'm going to just be applying the 200 shade on this side. And this one, I feel like is a lot creamier. I feel like you need a lot less of this one than the Jouer one. So I do feel like I need a lot less of the Mora Beauty one than the Jouer because this one just goes a long way. This one is very, very full coverage. And I feel like it just spreads out very easily under, you know, throughout your face. Honestly, I was really curious to see how these two compare side by side because I think I enjoy, like secretly enjoy the more Beauty one a lot more than the Jouer, -A, even though they're like my top two of all the concealers that I do have. But this one I just feel like has like the most beautiful finish to it and it just like conceals really, really well. Like I said, I just apply a little bit of it and I feel like both sides kind of look the same. So I really don't think that I have to go with another layer of the more Beauty one just because I feel like I'm comfortable where it's at. And also on this side, I feel like it, it did cover a lot more than this side. So I just want to do a comparison so you guys can see like how they look side by side. But I think that they're pretty much the same. This side obviously feels a little bit more sticky because like I said, until you set the more one, it kind of just feels sticky on your face. So I'm going to be setting both of these with the Becca Set and Refresh Powder just because I really like this one. And I'm just going to be taking my sponge. It's not damp or anything. And I'm just going to be using this. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about the Mora Beauty versus the Jouer, like you guys that are like seeing it on my face on camera, because to me, they're pretty much the same thing. And honestly, if I were to recommend one to you, um, I would go ahead and say that you should try the Mora Beauty first and then see if you like it. And then if not, you can like spend a little bit more money for the Jouer. I think they're a little bit different and finishes the Mora Beauty sets to like the mattest matte. So if that's something that bothers you, then you should definitely like check out the Jouer one. All right, so I did the rest of my face. I really don't see a difference between the two um, right now. I feel like it just looks really nice. It definitely gave me a very, very full coverage. It covered up a lot. I'm still seeing a little tiny bit of darkness, but I feel like if I would have color corrected underneath, that would have been gone. My under eyes are very, very dark, so I don't think a lot of people have that problem. So I feel like they're both very, very good concealers that I do recommend with my eyes closed. If you get any of these, you're going to love them. I promise you, they're just so, so good. If I were to pick one, obviously I would go with the Moria Beauty because it's a little bit more inexpensive. But then again, you have to order them from, from their website. So you are going to be spending a little bit of money on shipping. So it's up to you. I'm going to give you guys a you know rundown throughout the day to see how they perform and how they compare. So let's just go ahead and see how that looks like. Guys, so I'm really impressed with the results of this so far. I feel like the lighting here is really, really good. Um, on the left side, I have the Jouer one. I feel like this one I'm liking a little bit better than the Mora just because this one looks a little bit more dry. But as far as coverage, they both look really, really good. I feel like they definitely canceled out any darkness that I had. They're definitely very full cool coverage and they're just looking really, really good. I feel like they're holding up super well as well. I did set them with the Becca powder both sides. So that might, might have something to do with it. Um, as far as the little glow that you're seeing on my face, that's definitely from the skin tint. But everything is holding up really, really nice. Like I said, the Mora Beauty definitely gave me a little bit more coverage on the cheeks, but so far, no complaints. By the way, it is 12 right now, so I applied it at 6 a.m. So, all right, guys, so it's four o'clock right now. I've had this on for 10 hours, so I feel like I'm just ready to take this off. You know, when your foundation and like your face is so dewy that your hair just sticks to it and it's just so freaking annoying, like I spend the whole day like trying to like pick 
hairs out of my skin, but what, whatever. Um, I feel like they both looked really, really well. I am actually super impressed with how they both performed. I don't really see a bigger, like a big difference between the two. I'm trying to find the more beauty one. I really don't see a difference like between the two other than the fact that the Jouer is definitely very, very hydrating. I assume that is that has something to do probably with the hyaluronic acid. And this one is more full coverage, but definitely very mattifying. Not drying, but very matte. So I just feel like there's a little bit more shine to the Jouer one, but there's definitely more coverage with the Mora Beauty one. Um, it just definitely depends on what you prefer. If you're somebody that doesn't like full coverage, I wouldn't go for either of these, or I would probably go with the Jouer and just apply a little bit of a soft, you know, just use less product because the, the Mora Beauty one is always going to be full coverage no matter what. Um, I do really feel like they both just excelled. Like, honestly, this is like the best of the concealer game right here for me. They did crease just a tiny little bit, but obviously I've been wearing it for 10 hours. And when there's creases and you put product on creases, what do you expect the product to do? Like, it is very, very minimal. I can barely see it. And I just feel like it stayed on really all day. Like, I honestly have no complaints. I don't think this looks bad whatsoever. And I'm just really, really impressed. So everything is going to be linked down below as far as application and, you know, the applicators on the bottles themselves, they were just the same thing. As far as, you know, consistency, they were pretty much the same thing. As far as the shades that I use, I feel like 200 and the creme brulee one were probably not the exact match because the creme brulee is a little bit more peach and this one tends to be a little bit more neutral. But together, I don't really see a difference once they're both on my face. I feel like both sides just look pretty much the same in my opinion. And they just look really, really nice. I mean, you can see the areas where I applied it on my actual face, how it just looks so, so nice. So I feel like it's a really great product. The only places where it did rub off just a tiny little bit was on my shin. But other than that, everywhere else it stayed on and looks really good. So yeah, so far I do think that the Mora Beauty is actually a dupe for the Jouer. That is just my personal opinion. So if you want to check it out, definitely check out these little products right here. And if you were looking for a high-end concealer that is going to do the job for you and that you're going to love, go for this one. You're not going to regret it. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I love doing comparison videos, especially for something that you guys can save money on. I am all for that. So, so please don't forget to subscribe below and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!